We've come through the Moho now and we're in the mantle section of the Ophiolite and these water-worn rocks here in the Wadi Bottom are mantle Harzbergites. You can see there are two colours. The true colour of the rock is the more grey-green colour, uh, the rocks that we see here. These are in their unweathered state and then the rusty brown is a weathering crust principally of the olivine in these rocks. So these are olivine peroxine rich rocks. And we can see as we look up towards the skyline the rugged nature of the mountain scenery that this mantle Hartsbergite rock creates. And these tend to be the highest mountains in the Amano, if you like. In many respects these mantle rocks look superficially extremely dull and uninteresting. But there's a level of detail here which is worth paying attention to. You notice these brownie patches within the Hartsbergite. These are dunite bands and these are probably melt channels of um, places where basalt has migrated through the Hartsbergite to produce this uh, residue of olivine. Also cutting through mantle Hartsbergites are these little veins of peroxinite and these represent, again, later melts that have percolated through the mantle Hartsbergites. So these rocks contain a story of melt extraction, this is why they're now Hartsbergites, but they also contain a story of melt migration uh, embodied in these dunite veins and in these pyroxenite veins. If we look closely at the Hartsbergite, we can see the individual minerals which are making up this rock. The Brown are the weathered patches of olivine or olivine crystals. The grey are the orthoproxene, the other principal mineral. But if you look closely, there are some small black grains as well. And these are likely to be spinels, chrome spinels, chromite. So two dominant minerals and an accessory mineral make up this rock. Another important feature of mantle Hartsbergite is this banding, this crude banding, which is very often seen. If we look closely, you can see that this is made up of peroxinite and then hartsbergite and then two more peroxinite bands. We think these peroxinite bands originated from being a flow fabric in the mantle when the mantle was viscous. And so this is the streaking out of some earlier material and recorded now in the mantle from the time when it was molten and when it was flowing. One of the features of the alteration that we can see in mantle Hartsbergites is a sequence of events. Look closely here at the orangey brown, the dunitic alteration, and we'll see that this area is cross cut by the later peroxinite veins and certainly this small peroxinite vein seems to be later still. So there's a sequence of events in which the donitic alteration of the Hartsbergite was early and the peroxinite veins were later. Even later are these black veins which you can see cutting through the Hartsbergite. This black material is serpentine uh, forming the rock type serpentinite. This is a serpentinite vein, a very late vein, cutting through everything else in the mantle Hartsbergite. And this is an episode of hydrous alteration of the mantle rocks when they've been uplifted and uh, are at the surface and is part of a low grade metamorphic process which has led to their alteration. Typically in Oman, these rocks are not strongly serpentinized. Other ophiolites in the world are highly serpentinized and the original features of the rock are largely destroyed. 